Hey guys, it's Miss Josette and I am here with this week's Kids Club message and I am here to share with you a little bit of what I was thinking after Pastor Tim's message last week on taming the tongue. You know, Taming the tongue is even something that grown-ups struggle with and have a really hard time with. So it's okay if you guys aren't perfect at, at it yet, but it's something that God talks about in the Bible that is really important for us to think about. You know, the book of James talks about our the use of our tongue. The book of Proverbs talks about it. So this, this afternoon, I'm going to share with you an object lesson that I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite object lessons. And it's something that I think about when I'm using my own words that I try really hard to think about sometimes. So I've got a tube of toothpaste here, a brand new tube of toothpaste. And I just took the foil off of it. And I'm going to squeeze a little bit of it out here on this piece of paper so that you can see. I'm going to squeeze a little bit out. If there's nothing magical here, it's just toothpaste. And I'm just going to wipe it off there. So it's toothpaste, just toothpaste on a piece of paper. And because I thought that was easier than, than a plate or anything. But so just some toothpaste here. Now, now that I've squeezed this toothpaste out of the tube, it's a lot like our words. But can I put this toothpaste back in the tube now that I squeezed it out? So let's see, like if I, if I push it like this, can I squeeze it back in? Can I get it back in? Nope, I'm just making a mess. Can I get it back in the tube if I, nope, nope. Now see, I did not get it back in the tube. I just, I just made more of the mess. So the lesson with that is, is that once you squeeze the toothpaste out of the tube, you can't put it back in. That would be silly to try to do that. So that's why like when you were younger and you messed around with toothpaste, mom got really mad because toothpaste is not cheap. You, you cannot put it back in. The same thing is true with our words. Once we say something, we can't take them back. If you ever said something that hurt somebody's feelings and you heard them say, take it back, take that back. You didn't, don't say that, take that back. The thing is, is you can't take it back. Once you say something, you can't put the words back in your mouth any more than I could put the toothpaste back in that tube. Once the words come out of your mouth, you can't put them back. Now, somebody can forgive you when you say something hurtful, but you can't take those words back. That Once they're out, they're out. The Bible tells us that he who holds his tongue is wise. That's out of the book of Proverbs. The Bible also tells us that reckless words are like a sword. All of us have probably heard the rhyme, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names can never hurt me or words can never hurt me. That sounds nice. To say that sounds like something to try to say to make yourself feel better, but it's true. It's not a true statement. Words can't hurt us because like the Bible says that reckless words are like a sword. Our words are like a knife. Our words can hurt others. We all know that God hears what we say. And so when we are intentionally mean to somebody, we're hurting God. And when we have, even if we just have a mean thought in our mind, it's very important to be careful about the things we say. And I know that I struggle sometimes when I'm mad, I want to fly off the handle and I want to say stuff, but it's really hard because once you have it's hard to be able to take those things back. Like you can apologize to somebody, you can say you're sorry, you can you can really try to make it up to someone, but once you have said those words, it's really hard to take them back. The other thing that I want you to think about is the Bible tells us to let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. So what we're saying is, we want the words that what we're saying to be pleasing to God. So since we can't take words back once we say them, we want the things that we are saying to be acceptable and pleasing to God. We want the things that we're saying to other people to be filled with love, to be filled with kindness, to be uplifting. You know, I hear in my head the last few years as I've been working with a good friend of mine, I hear in my head 
her saying that one of the things that she just wants out of the kids that we work with is to help them be good humans and to help them be kind to each other and to think about what we're thinking and doing and just be good humans. We as Christians need to be good humans. We need to be good Christians. We need to think about what we're saying and how it helps or hurts someone. Our words can help and uplift someone or our words can tear somebody down. And what we want is to be helpful and uplifting. We don't want to tear people down. We want to look at somebody and maybe somebody was really mean to you and your gut reaction is to be really mean and nasty and say nasty things back. But we have to really think about that and not do that. Or maybe somebody has told you a really big secret or some kind of juicy gossip and you just want to share it with somebody else. That is not what we're supposed to be doing with our words. God does not want us to be gossiping with other people. That's hurtful. And that only spreads rumors and only makes things worse for somebody, especially if you don't know the whole story or if it's not your story to share. We want to be careful what words are coming out of our mouth. We want to be telling people about God's love. We want to be telling people about God's kindness, about God's goodness, and the plan that God has for them. That's what we want coming out of our mouth. We want to be telling people about that we love them, that what we like about them, what they're doing well. That doesn't mean that we don't correct someone when they're doing something wrong, but we need to do it with love and kindness and just be good humans. So I want you to, as you're brushing your teeth today, I want you to think about that toothpaste that once you put it on your toothbrush, you can't put it back in your tube, in the tube. Just like once the words come out of our mouth, we can't take them back. So we want the words that are coming out to be good words. So let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for the opportunity that I have to share and to speak. Father, I ask you to help me to think more before I open my mouth. Father, you gave me two ears and one mouth so that I can do twice as much listening as I do talking. And Father, that the things that you want me to be saying are good things and not hurtful things. Father, thank you for that opportunity. And Father, help me to be able to live that way and speak as you want me to speak in an uplifting, pleasing manner. In the name of your son, we pray. Amen. Thanks guys for joining in. I appreciate seeing you. I miss you all and I can't wait to see you again next month in person. Bye.